October is National Work and Family Month, one of many annual designations observed in October. This year, businesses across the United States are asked to promote healthier and more flexible work environments. We've talked a lot about flexible work environments. In fact, I've vlogged about it recently when talking about reboarding employees. When talking about flexible work environments, it's important to remember it's not one size fits all. And these decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If you want your people to buy into the process that you want to put in place, make sure that they're part of the decision-making process themselves. Now, by now, most businesses have seen how well things can still operate while people are not permanently in the office. So it begs the question, do they need to go back to being permanently in the office? Now, onto a healthier work environment. Remember, Healthy is not just physical. There are a number of things that can and do encompass healthy. Just like in my earlier example, ask your people. What are the topics that interest them the most? What parts of their lives do they have questions on? Who could you bring in to offer up expertise? For many, this past year has left their financial future looking a little less healthy than before. What can you do to give them guidance and show your support for their financial health? Remind them of the services you have available. Set up a lunch and learn with a professional. Obviously, we want to be aware and proactively supporting the mental health of our people. Again, reminding them of the mental health services you have available. Brief sessions on stress reduction. How to incorporate mental breaks into their days especially if their day involves staring at a screen the entire time. There are many other things that make up healthier. Volunteerism, doing something in and for the communities they live in. And obviously there is the physical. What are you doing? What could you do to support and encourage physical well-being? Nutrition tips, walking groups, random desk exercises, whatever. It doesn't take a lot to show people that you care about them. Sometimes even a simple, how are you, email. And at the same time, a little bit of genuine caring can and does go a long way. Happy National Work and Family Month.